Hey, this is Vilna and I'm back from my travels um, to Italy and it was absolutely amazing. Um, but more about that some other time. I'm just back and I'm back to work. It's Monday morning and today I'm working with this beautiful product line by Maggie Holmes called Confetti. So Maggie, you can see there's her handwriting on the black tag. She sent me a box full of things and she said just play with it and make something fun um, absolutely no restrictions no no um, instructions and and it was just amazing uh, when I decided this morning I want to make cards and I want to use these little muslin bags to as the little envelopes of the cards so I'm just placing a piece of paper inside of the bag because I want to paint on it and that way I'm I'm making sure that the front and the back ones stick together you can see on the one Muslim bag in the beginning the the one in front sorry <laughs> the first one <laughs> um, there's a little stencil that comes with it so my plan was to use the stencil on f in four different ways so are you ready? Um, this is going to be fun. So first of all, I'm just going to prime the the material with a little bit of gesso, like almost like an art journaling page. And this is really becoming like a signature thing for me. I just love doing it. And um, if you hear noise in the background, it's my girls laughing. And that's a beautiful noise. So I'm not going to shout out to them to be quiet right now. I absolutely love hearing their laughs and the giggles in the house because one day I know it won't be like that anymore. But anyway, happy thoughts. Um, so just prime them and then let them dry and then we're going to just do fun things with it. So um, you can see I'm just using my embossing tool to quickly dry the gesso just because as you probably know if you watched a little of my videos on YouTube that I'm always impatient and here you can see um, the little stencil so what I'm doing is I'm using some light molding paste and giving it a very quick spread so that's the first one is with light molding paste I'm away from the camera right now just rinsing the stencil off under running water and it comes off lovely that's one of the reasons why um, I love this little stencil and I think I'm going to take very good care of it because it's a very handy little stencil and you can use it in multiple ways. So once it's clean, um, I'm going to um, do the second one and the second one is going to be with embossing powder. So I'm just digging through my stash and then you're going to take your little pad and you're going to press into it. Make sure that your stencil doesn't move. I think that's the biggest um, tip there. And then just sprinkle over your embossing powder and then just shake it off. So I have a big bin just next to my table and you can see it's smudged a little bit. So now I'm just taking a, a clean brush and just, um, I'm just cleaning it up. A little bit and then I'm going to use the embossing tool to cook the powder like Ali it would always say and then once it's done um, then you're done that's how easy this is it's so simple and you know what these techniques that I'm showing you in this little video is like a little mini art class because you can use them on any stencils um, they're so simple so wonderful and so efficient and it's little techniques that I've been using over and over again and I think the challenge for me is to just to do it in a new way so these little muslin bags is fantastic for for this so the next one I'm going to use the stencil with glitter and um, you'll see what I'm going to use is glue good old Mod Podge so you're going to um, be careful in your application because Mod Podge, the Mod Podge will run underneath the, the stencil. So keep it very, um, try to keep it as um, 
still as possible, flat as possible. And you can see the dots there. You can see it very good. And now I'm using the Maggie Holmes glitter. I want to use the blue green and I'm just going to sprinkle it over. So the video is a little bit of a little bit sped up. So I'm not usually working this fast, but now you just want to shake it off. Okay. So I think um, you can see it worked like a charm. How pretty is that? And again, um, I'm not going for perfection here. In fact, everything is going to be a little bit messy, but in the end, it's going to look amazing. So I'm very excited for this project. And you know what? It was really like a steam train for me. Um, the more I worked on it, the more excited I got. So this is awesome. Okay. And then the last one, um, I wanted to spray paint with gold on it, but I didn't want to ruin the stencil because I knew that this little stencil, um, I want to keep and use it again and again. So I decided to use gold paint. Now, um, the only thing that I did wrong was I used a brush instead of a sponge. And if you can dab it on, that would be ideal. But even though that it wasn't perfect, you'll see in the end that, um, this little envelope bag turned out really pretty. So you don't really want to paint, do what I'm doing there. You want to dab, just dab a little bit of gold paint on it. And there you can see it's not perfect, but I don't care. In the end, it worked out lovely and it really still looks beautiful. Right. So that's how easy it is to make your little um, muslin bags and now you just want to let everything dry and then we are going to embellish them a little bit. The size of the card to fit uh, a little muslin bag is seven inches by seven inches folded in half. So then it comes to three and a half inches and that's exactly what I did there is um, I just cut um, seven by seven folded in half and you have the perfect little card to fit these little um, bags. Okay, so I do have the excuse of being a little jet lagged, but my camera only records 20 minutes and then it stops and I didn't realize that it stopped. So I didn't show the piece of how these um, golden pink and and mint green stuff got on the card. So Maggie Holmes have a birthday banner and I opened the packaging and I used hot glue and I attached pieces of it to the front of my cards. And that's how simple it is. And I just cut them off. And now I'm just going to embellish um, the rest of it. So the little banners with the tissue paper is sort of the base of every card and that's the beginning and now I'm just going to embellish with some of her beautiful embellishments. So I'm just using a little bit of adhesive and now I'm just going to add the paper and cut off the excess from the back of the card. And you can see how pretty is the back of the paper and you can even use that. So absolutely um, up to you. Um, I'm also using a lot of embellishments. Um, uh, sorry for all the ums. I'm just going to claim everything that that's weird with this video like the lighting and the fact that I didn't record everything and all the weird words I'm saying. I'm just going to ascribe it to jet lag. So there you go. Um, <laughs>
what I wanted to say before I started the music, just to let you forget about everything that I'm doing wrong, is that the project I'm doing today is a little bit of product heavy. I'm lucky enough that Maggie sent me a whole box of stuff. And I just felt that I want to use as much as possible to showcase it for her and and just because I can. So you might not have everything available to you, but I'm sure you have a lot of stuff in your stash or you can go and find something similar even if you cannot get the exact same product. I was teaching at a wonderful event in Italy, in Tuscany actually, and Serena had in her shop these little tassels, a package of them, and I bought them. So they come all the way from Italy. They weren't in the box. So I'm so happy that I bought them in Italy. And that's really the only products that I bought for for this lovely project. But I'm very happy I did. And now you can see just how I'm placing a little bit of um, product on the envelope, a button, a heart, a tassel and a little leaf. And there you go. They're perfect together and they they match you know so that's quite fun um okay so on the foil hot glue doesn't work greatly on foil <laughs> just so you know okay I always say uh if you're watching maybe one of my videos for the first time that I make the mistakes so you don't have to make the mistakes and I love using hot glue but hot glue on foil does not work okay so there you go I wonder if you noticed in the beginning when I was taking out the embellishments, the little flowers and leaves and how I just placed them on the cards. And you know what? I love to work on things simultaneously. I'm inherently incredibly lazy and that's why I'm always looking for ways to shortcut the shortcut. And to do something like that is now I don't have to go through that little embellishment pack every single time. I can just... um. I've already placed them, you know, on on the right card. And now I can just add to it or subtract to it. So that's the thing. I'm just going to add a little bit of spray paint to um, this card. And you can see I just used a, a piece of white cardstock to shield the rest of the projects from the spray paint because I'm very prone to spraying everything and I'm going to repeat the pink spray paint on another envelope so that's quite fun the one with the molding paste the one I'm working on now funny enough I didn't feel like I want to add any color to it I just absolutely adored the little gold label on top of the the um, the polka dots so I just love that so I just added a few little things but I didn't want to cover any of it with spray paint I just think it looks lovely and then the polka dot leaf just matched matchies matchy matchy so there you go two down and two to go for this one I'm going to use a um, mint spray paint.
card has a specific color scheme. One is gold and pink, one is gold and pink, one is mint and gold. And for this one, I decided to do pink and mint and gold. So, and the same with the little um, envelope. I decided just to add a splash of pink to it. And, you know, when you dry it, you can see it resists the embossing powder. How beautiful is that? that? This is now something like a little serendipity, something that I didn't plan. And I just love it when stuff like that happen. So I'm just adding one of Maggie's cute little paper clips in the form of a bow and a little heart, one of those gold hearts. And that comes from that little embellishment pack that you can see in the bottom left corner of the video. So my kids actually taught me how to remember left and right. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm totally totally useless with it in fact don't tell me left show me which way to go it's just weird how my brain is wired okay so now the cards are done and I you can see how they match the envelopes here and there but then I decided you know what I really want to write I need some black something to pop on the cards and I decided to stamp words on it with um stamp black ink and I have a little sentiments stamp set from Heidi Swap and I just use it to stamp some words on it and it really made a big difference so that one is um, Cherish the Day and these cards I'm planning to give to my girls dance teachers because they just finished just wanted to place it on the right side of the block because I wanted to stamp multiple times and it really came out way nicer than I thought it would and I just needed one more like that look at the ombre effect that blends beautifully in with the ombre effect of the paint on the background so that really got me excited and then I was really sorry I didn't do the first stamp like that as well. But I will do the rest of them like that. Except that my fingers really got black and everything I touched got <laughs> was just black. I don't know. So there's three little words on the, that one and I'm also just... Um, stamping it again and again and again and that way you get this beautiful ombre effect and now I'm just going to cut that one in half that says counting blessings and it was al also a mathematical process just to figure out on which side of the block I should put them and how when are they upside down <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just blaming everything on jet lag, okay? So there you go. So now I wanted to align on the left and there you go, counting blessings. How beautiful. Right, I just added a piece of white paper in the label. Just cut it exact same size because I can write something in it, like a name or something. And... Now I just want to check that everything fits in well. So when you put it in, how does it look? And I did have to staple like that. I stapled that tissue paper just to the to the background paper. Because again, this shabby chic, they're kind of messy, the little cards. And now you can just write inside of them and make them really heartfelt. Just make sure that everything is down perfectly. Right, so you can go to maggiehomes.com and if you're not there already, <laughs> then you can see more photographs of uh, the project. I took a whole bunch of them and you can see how they look. There's detailed shots and everything, but 
and they photographed so lovely i mean it's just the most amazing um, little project to make and to photograph so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and um, i'll see you again on vilnafurstenburg.com bye bye